Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Nagai to Glory. Now, I'm not going to lie, before I even get started, there is so much content that is new and that I need to catch you up on since the last episode that I'm not going to waste any time at all. So, lads, if you're new, subscribe. I'm close to 200 subscribers. Still, I'd like to hit it by the end of the year, but you know, it could also be a very lovely Christmas present. Just throwing the idea out there. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, turn on notifications, all of, all of that good stuff. There's a lot for me to talk about. So without any further ado, let's jump into the NTG. So as I said in the intro, we've got a lot to cover just to catch you up since last episode. Not only has there been new players added to the team, there is a new season of FIFA. There's been a new promo. There has also been new custom tactics that I've added to the team and a new kit. We are rocking a new kit as well. And on top of all of that, I completed my first ever foot champs of FIFA 22. So I'll let you know how that went. To give you an idea of how much has changed since episode two, we've changed over half of the team. So let's start off with the new team and the new players. So I said a lot in episode three that we were gonna have to get that Casemiro card. We got him. On the screen somewhere behind me, hopefully you will see me sell the old Casemiro we had because he was of course tradable and we sold him for 33,000 coins and we bought the new Casemiro for 63,000 coins. So we basically only spent 30K. And I won't lie, I've used him quite a lot already as you can see and he's pretty flipping good. As I said in the last episode, one of his stats is slightly lowered and one of the stats is boosted. For some reason, his shooting has been boosted. I'm not sure which stat has been lowered. It might be passing. I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, very, very good card. Very good centre mid. We also, of course, finally unlocked ourselves the Rule Breakers Antonio card, which was the objective card, and he is also a beast. I did start off playing him off chemistry with the old custom tactics, and it didn't really work. He's a centre mid because in the team, he has replaced Leon Bailey, as you can see. But with the new custom tactics, it suits him down to the ground. He is a beast. Him and Super Suke up front, what a partnership that is. We also did another objective card, and it was another Rule Breakers card. It is 85 rated Marouane Fellaini. Now, he is also a very, very good centre mid. As you can see, he's Belgian from the Chinese League, so he doesn't fit the team whatsoever. But off the bench, he's going to be very, very good for us. I might bring him on in this episode if I can remember. So, yeah, he looks like a very good centre to mid somewhere in the background hopefully you'll see him walking out and plus the big big positive really he's got an afro i mean look at him there throw in some shapes there's been a new promo there is a new promo it's an adidas related promo which is you know kind of how kind of dry i won't it's not it's not great to be honest but i didn't care about it at all until i managed to get my hands on Declan Rice. As you can see, he is first owner, untradeable. Hopefully somewhere in the background as well, you will now see him walking out. And to be honest, looking at the new promo, he's probably the most perfect card I could have got for the team. Nagai to glory is slowly becoming West Ham to glory, I can't lie. We've got, this is what, four West Ham players now because he is going into the starting team. Now, the thing with the Adidas numbers up is eventually one of their stats will be 99. Now for Declan Rice it is passing, however the 99 passing doesn't come into effect until April 2022, so flipping ages away. I mean him and the new Casemiro as a CDM partnership get me into some foot champs. Speaking of foot champs, we completed our first ever FIFA 22 foot champs weekend. We finished rank three, which is eight wins, which was quite stressful, but I think it will be better now with the new players and the new custom tactics, I hope. So on screen, you will see the red picks I got. Managed to pick ourselves up an 86 Carrasco, who doesn't look too bad, and he kind of fits the team, sort of. And then we also got ourselves Simon Kiar, who doesn't fit the team at all. But when, like, Icon Swaps comes out and we need a Serie A team, I'm sure he'll be fine. So I was kind of happy with that. We didn't manage to get ourselves a red pick Vinicius Jr., which I had hoped for. But we did manage to get, in our 100k pack, tradable Rafa Varane. I can sell him, and at the time he went for 200k. But I think I'm going to keep him because, I'm not going to lie, I think he is the best centre-back in the game. And him, and it will have to be Diop to, for chemistry, that's going to be an unreal partnership. And then, of course, a lot less exciting, but we have got a new kit, which you will see in the gameplay, I'm sure. And it cost me 10,000 coins but it looks really nice, I can't lie. And I believe now you are finally up to date with everything that has happened since recording the last episode. So let us now jump into the new NTG team. Let's add in the new players. Some players have changed as well, so let's just jump into it. Okay, here we are back in the NTG team. Now, 
As you can see, it looks a bit different. Some of the players I've talked about already, some of them I haven't. So, starting off in goal, Bono has gone. He is rubbish. I'm not, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it at all. Woeful, absolutely woeful. You saw it in the last game. Proper, absolute pop it on wrists. Um, he's not playing anymore. We have instead got 84 rated my nan. Now, since getting Varane and Diop, we can actually get any Premier League keeper we want. And I'm leaning towards Allison because he's the highest rated one. So around Black Friday, I might sign Allison. The defense is now looking like Dest, slightly off chemistry, unfortunately, but he's still class, I'm sure. Fredericks at right back. We can actually get any Premier League right back we want as well. And I'm thinking about Kyle Walker. Again, same with Allison. Black Friday, I might have to pick him up. The two centre backs are now Issa Diop and Rafa Varane. I mean, episode four. This is episode four, and we have Varane. So in game, we play a four triple two, and the two CDMs are. 90 rated Casemiro and the new Declan Rice. Again, what a partnership that is. It has meant that Fakir has had to drop out. So obviously Bono's gone, Kunde has been replaced, but he's been replaced by Varane. And this is now also Fakir coming out of the team as well. But it now means we can have two DMs and it means that Nakata can play at Cam alongside Vinicius Jr. on the other side, of course. Meaning that we can have Mikel Antonio, who's slightly off chemistry, and Super Suke Nagai up front. Leon Bailey has dropped actually to the reserves. Now he was good, but I mean, you know, until he starts playing and actually getting in forms, he's pretty much just a normal 82 rated card. This is the team. This is the NTG team. Finally, because God knows how long the video is at this point, we can jump into some gameplay. So without any further ado, let us jump into game one of Nagai to Glory, episode four. This is the new kit, look at it. Look how lovely it is. This is. We've also got the home kit, of course, for FC Tokyo, but look at that. Look how nice that is. And it's called Tokyo as well. We've got FC Tokyo and Tokyo. Anyway, enough about the kits. This is the team. Just, yeah, pretty standard. Not a lot of chemistry styles going on, which does fill me with joy. Silver star, not a silver player in sight. Right, yeah, let's jump into it. Let's try out all the new players. Casemiro is so good. I, had, I actually didn't realise it. Oh, Antonio. Can he free Nagai? He has. Chop inside. Four or back outside. Create the space. Have a shot. Oh, that would be so nice. That all started from a Casemiro interception. Oh, Varana's dived in. The up cover him. The up cover for him. Oh, and chip my nan. My nan could say that. This team does not feel like an episode four team. Oh, that might be a red. No, it is only a yellow. We have a free kick. I don't like how free kicks work in this game. Just drill it. Why not? Oh, he's moved it. He moved the keeper right at the last minute. That very nearly worked. Oh, Antonio. Still Antonio. Dink it. Nakata. Dreadful. We go again. Casemiro. Vinicius Jr. It's released. Nagai, I thought he'd bring his keeper out and he hasn't, so I've shot early. Oh, I have bottled it. Declan Rice putting the ball up. Mikhail's turned him. No, I have a shot. Oh! Surely! Oh, unlucky, unlucky. I was so focused on concentrating on Nagai scoring that I just didn't say any words. Yes, Declan Rice. Can we get one before half time? Declan Rice to Antonio. Antonio's gone round him. Antonio dings it to Nagai, nope. who's free. Neto is falling to Nakata. Nope. Skills blocked. He's falling to Antonio. Nope. Neto nope. again. How has Neto kept that out? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah, that speaks for itself, doesn't it? 10 shots to his one. 4.9 expected goals to 0.3. My Nan's made one save. Neto's made seven. So I think we might be in the ascendancy. Right, big second half from the lads. Come on. Nakata. He's found Nagai. And he's round the last offender, and he's oh, unlucky. Close with the pass. I'm going to bring on Marouane, the Afro. It has to be done. I can't risk Casemiro getting a red card. The Afro is coming on. I'll tell you what, if Nagai had his shooting boots on today, we'd, it'd, it'd be 4 0 at least. Oh, lovely turn from Nagai. I didn't even press a button. He still got it. Oh my god, what a finish. What was I saying about his shooting boots? Oh, what a finish. 
he clearly took my comments to heart because he hit that with anger. He was he was fuming. I take it back. I take it back, Kensuke. I'm sorry. I take it back. Your your shooting boots are on. <laughs> your shooting boots are on. No doubt about that anymore. My God. This is why I decided to do a series around him because I say this every episode, but it is, it is so much harder this year. But when you do score with him, my God, does it feel good. Especially when you dink it over his last defender. Accidentally, by the way, that was not planned at all, but I'll take it. It looked cool. Yes, Fredericks. This guy doesn't know where to go. Declan Rice. Marouane Fellaini. He's played it to Antonio. I'm not going to sweat. I should have sweat. Should have sweat, to be honest. Right, we draw a man out. And we absolutely whip it in to Neto. I need to work on corners, bro. <laughs> oh, he's turned me well. Good finish. Good finish. Surprised he didn't celebrate, to be honest. I would have, I would have allowed it. I've celebrated twice when scoring with Nagai. 2-1. Love that. From Dest. Vinicius Jr. Oh... Oh, 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 that would have been such a good, well, all I made was noise then, but that would have been such a nice way to end the, end the game. We got a win though, we take the win. Let's have a look then, obviously Nagai with the brace, a 9.7 from him. He ran 11.2 kilometers in case anyone cared. Uh, assists came from Nakata and Declan Rice got an assist, I didn't even know that. I mean, what a team, what a team. What was our final expected goals? considering the game ended 2-1. We had 17 shots with 71% accuracy. Eight had an expected goals of eight. Well, I mean, what a first game that is. Let's jump into one more before we wrap up episode four. Hey, that run. We go same kit again, of course we do. Look how nice it is. I'm going to say it every time. What a kit. I'm in the EA Sports. Kind of ruins it because everyone hates EA Sports, but you know. The kit's nice. Team. Ooh, basic prem. Say basic. Sweaty prem. It's got three strikers, a cam, and two wingers. I don't know what formation he's going to play. Joe Gomez and Rudiger. That's going to be tough for Nagai. We did actually go up a division in the last game, so could be more sweaty. He's changed the Bamiyan's kit number to 99. I think I might be playing Rob, to be honest. Yes, Fredericks again. Oh, Declan's lost it. There he is, number 99. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Five minutes in, we are 1-0 down. And that guy, oh, the little back heel to Vinicius. Still Vinicius. Still Vinicius. That's a goal. Thank you very much, Vinicius Jr. Wow, mate, the quick feet. That's unreal. That's a Nagai assist as well, I think. 80 rated he is. 80. Oh, yeah, Diop. What a ball, I don't even know who that was. Oh, now guy's not making any runs, but he's picked the ball off of him. Move the keeper. No, I thought he would. Damn. Should be two. Should be two. Oh, now guy's back with his passing, for God's sake. Next year, I swear, I'm going to pick someone who can pass a ball. No disrespect to Nagai or Owen. But look at it, man, please. Nagata was through. Oh, Varan. Oh, I don't know why I say that. Like, I'm surprised that he's good, but... No, guy. Why did I pass after what I just said? Why did I go for the sweat? I don't think the game wants me to win as much as it wants him to win. Still, we try. Come on, that guy. Come on. Please, Suke, please. Are you joking? Ooh, you're hard. Yeah, cheers. Nope. Come on, game. Look how cocky he's being. Let me punish him when he absolutely screws it up. Oh, oh what a... I am playing a top tier arsehole in this game, I can't lie to you. He cannot be above the age of eight, honestly, he's... With how he's playing. Have some of that. Have a kickoff goal on your head. Ask me if I care. 
I don't. Don't care. And that is half time. Can't lie, this guy's not amazing, but the game is wanting him to win more than me. It was not as bad as last episode. Last episode was a joke. But I mean, the expected goals kind of explains it. We've got the same expected goals, but I've had three more shots and more shots on target. Somehow this guy's only had three shots on target, but his expected goal should be more than three. I don't understand how the game thinks that's a thing, but apparently that is the case. My nan. What a save. Honestly, Bono is not saving that ever. Offside, maybe? No. Okay. 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 If we get the opportunity to sweat, we sweat. This guy is just being so annoying. This guy is so annoying because he's not very good. Look, look at him. Look at him being all cocky. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, I can chip it over the head of your 32 year old Japanese 70 rated striker. We get the chance to sweat, we sweat. Come on, Declan Rice picking the ball up and he slots it to Nagai. Who's never going to miss from there, is he? Let's be honest. This guy is a proper little... Mm, I can't say what he is without getting demonetised. Oh, what a pass. Oh, Antonio. Nope. Nick Pope, have a day off. Luke Shaw nearly scored with his bunda. Is this guy, is this guy mad? Have I annoyed him? Because this guy is sliding in all over the shop. Nope. Pope! What's... That's a pen. Thank you. I don't know why this guy's diving in like he's not currently level. He's just sliding in all over the place. Do we go for the Ronald Koeman? I think we do. Oh, I hit that way too early. I nearly bottled it completely, but we take it. And we're going to celebrate because this guy has been a bit of a loser. Antonio is wide open. First nope. time. Pope, have a day off. Nope. Pope, have a day off, man. Oh, deal. Finish him. I already know that's edited so, so much. What's a goal from Nagai? Nagai's through again. We get an opportunity to sweat. We sweat. I don't care if we're 5-3 up in the 90th minute. I, I do not care. See you later, lad. 6-3. <laughs> Come on, the MTG. Do you know what? This guy was proper toxic this whole game. And we've smashed him 6-3. How did the team do then? Oh my lord, where did he get three assists from? Nagai with a brace and three assists. Five out of the six goals were contributed by him. Goals also coming from Antonio, got a brace, Nakasa with the penalty and Vinicius Jr. And two assists from Declan Rice again, and again I didn't notice, and Issa Diop, fair play lad. Well, I mean, what a result. Let's just quickly have a little recap of how the team has done. Well, I mean, I can't lie, what a team this is. Let's quickly, although it won't be that quick, run through the new players. My Nan made a couple of incredible saves. Varane, obviously, outstanding. I mean, he hasn't even got a chemistry style, still everywhere. Declan Rice, what a CDM. What a CDM. Along with the new Casemiro, unbelievable partnership. Vinicius is the same, Nakata was the same, Nagai is obviously the same, still a beast. Let's have a look at this record. 95 games, 142 goals with 42 assists. I mean, what more do I need to say? And then obviously as well, Mikel Antonio, off chemistry, but still banging them in like it's nobody's business. What a team we have in episode four of Nagai to Glory. Where do we go from here? I don't know what to do, lads. I don't know what to do. But in terms of this episode, 
that is where I'm going to end it. So if you guys have enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like down below. As I said, subscribe if you are new around here. As I said in the intro, I am on the road to 200 subscribers and it would be a lovely, lovely Christmas present for me if I could get there. If not by the end of the year, that has been my aim for the whole year to be fair. Obviously turn on the notifications so you get notified when future Nago to Glory episodes come out. Apologies for how fast paced this video was, but I needed to tell you a lot of content in not a lot of time. I'll see you all in my next video. See ya.